Hi, grade six, Miss Amber again here. I'm going to explain to you in this video what QAR questions are and how I'd like you to answer them. They are easier than you might be thinking. Some of you might be overthinking them, um, but it is something that we are learning. We're adding this new skill to our reading comprehension as we go through the next few weeks. So I want to share my screen with you so I can share some details with you about QAR questions and what that means. Okay, so I'm presenting my screen now. I'm going to classwork on Google Classroom. Again, reminder, do not access your classwork through your stream. Try to go to classwork so that it's organized for you. Okay, it's like a binder with tabs. Um, we're going to go to this QR, QAR question one. And if I click here, um, it opens up and I see that three of you have turned it in, which is great. And I see the instructions here, question, answer, relationship. Um, and then I see, remember the four types of QARs are in the book right there. In the book, think and search. In my head, on my own. And in my head, author and me. Um, I don't know what that is. So I think I'm going to click on this resource here. Um, but first I'm gonna click view questions so that I can expand the page for myself, okay? I'm going to go to view question and this is what I see here. Same thing, but bigger. I'm going to click QAR question prompts and that's a PDF that I've uploaded for you. Okay, I'm going to expand it so you can see it a little better on the screen. You might not be able to read the video quality, unfortunately, um, is not super high quality, um, but I'm going to try my best, okay? So QAR question prompts, we have four different kinds. We have in the book questions. So those are questions that I might ask you that you could find in the book if you looked for it. Like, what is the um, protagonist's name? There are two from Ember, what are their names? And you would say, Lena and Dune, I found that right here, right? Or I remembered from the previous book I read in fifth grade. Um, so those are questions like where, do the people of Ember go to? What's the name of the town? And you would say it's the town of Sparks, right? Because you know that they are in the town of Sparks now. They are no longer in Ember. Um, we would say, maybe a question would be, what does Dr. Hester do for a living? And you would say, she's a doctor. Of course, I know it because I read it right here on this page. So in the book questions are the first type of QAR um, questions and they are things that you can find right there in the book, okay? Our next type, our second type, is the think and search method. Um, and it's a think and search type of question because you can still find it in the book, um, you can still find the answer in the book, but you might need to do a little bit more thinking like extending yourself as a reader. Um, these are questions like, what are some important ideas going on in this book, right? These are questions like, what themes do you see happening in the story as the story unfolds? Um, this could be something like, what does Torin look like in the story? Is there a description there? Um, these are questions like, what character traits would you attribute to this character? Okay, so these think and search questions, I, this is the type of question that I asked you for our QAR number one. So you would identify, this is a think and search question. Here is my answer. I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for you to identify what type of question it is. There are four types, and I'm looking for you to answer the question yourself. The third type is author and me. Um, this one is not in the text, so you would put the book away for this one, right? Maybe you would glance at it, but the answer is not necessarily in the book. Um, you would say something like for this question, what is the most surprising part of the book so far for you? right? If you could interview this character, maybe take Dune, what do you think that he would say to some of your interview questions? Um, if you were to take away part of the book, what part of the book would you take away or what scene would you add and why, right? So these are things that you would think about, okay, if I was the author of this story, what would I do? What would I see? How would I see the characters? And what is the relationship between the author and me as I'm reading through the story, okay? So this is the third type, author and me. On my own is something that you are more used to answering as a reader because you do this all the time, okay? This answer, again, is not in the book. So these would be questions like, have you ever felt homesick like Lena did? 
when she was in Sparks, right at the end of, I believe it was chapter two or three, um, she said that she felt really, really homesick. Okay. And what did that feel like for her? You are looking at yourself, you're reflecting, you're saying, have I ever felt homesick as a reader? Have I ever felt homesick? Can I connect to this character? Um, and when we talk about a character like Dune, have you ever felt proud, like Dune felt proud, leading the people out of Ember? He felt really proud of himself, and he had a lot of pride in his city of Ember um, and in his people. Have you ever felt that kind of pride, right? That's something that you would not find written in the book, which is why um, this type of question is called On My Own. So the four types I just want to make sure you understand are right there, think and search, author and me, and on my own, okay? Um, these are the four types of QAR questions. In an answer that you give me, I'm looking for, here's the type of question, okay? That's part one. This is a right there question, or this is a think and search question. And the second thing I'm looking for in your answer is here is what I think. Here is my answer, okay? So two parts to that question. Um, and I know many of you have already had questions about QAR. Um, but these are questions that we ask all the time as readers. And I do have this PDF available for you to look at in case you are confused. This first question here for this week is um, something that you can also use the character traits that I have provided um, as a PDF. And I have attached that for you as well. So you can use the character traits and you can try to identify what character traits do you think Torin has. Okay. So I wanted to go over QAR with you. And you can rewatch this video as many times as you need to to understand the concept. If you still have questions for me after watching this video, please, please contact me. You can comment on Google Classroom and say, I still don't get it. Um, you can add a private comment to the assignment and so that just I see it, or you can add a public comment, um, or you could email me. So that is the end of this video. I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Stop presenting. Um, and I will see you in the next video. There's one more video I'd like you to watch for Google Classroom, and I'm going to show you the game board and how that works, okay? And I will see you in the next video. Bye, sixth grade.